Praise God, my brother and sister. It's a beautiful morning. The Lord has given unto us, you know, and I'm grateful that the Lord has given us the privilege to be alive another day. This is power to become. Remember, it's for you and I to get the strength, the wisdom, the courage, and the anointing, you know, to step out as sons and daughters of the Most High God. And today I'm talking about my heaven is open. My heaven is open. Why am I saying my, my heaven is open? Strictly speaking, I wanted to say um, operating under, 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 under an open heaven. It looked a bit too wadi. So I thought to say that, you know, uh, my open heaven. Because I realized also in our relationship with God, the personalness of this relationship or the personal nature of this relationship that we have with God is very important to see how we operate. Because if I operate under an open heaven, the blessings and the favor of God follows me everywhere. And I want you today to operate in that kind of open heaven. As I say that my heaven is open because it's a personal ex experience. If that heaven is open, there are those who don't access the favor of heaven because of a lack of understanding. The funny thing is that, is that the most, for most believers, for most believers, the openness or closeness of heaven is actually based on the understanding of how heaven works and who God is. Because the favor I receive from God is always pegged upon my understanding of how good God is. I always like saying that every time in the, in the Bible class. And I read from John 15, 4, from the Passion Translation. It says this, so you must remain, you must remain in life union. That's what the Bible says, you must remain in life union with me, for I remain in life union with you. For as much as a branch, a, a, for as much as a branch is separated from the vine, it will not bear fruit. So your life will be fruitless unless you live your life intimately joined to mine. Christ says this very beautifully. He says that, that, that for I remain in life union with you. So he says that I'm, I have no problem with me. My, my, my connection with you is eternal. My connection with you is permanent. My connection with you doesn't vary. So someone for a different day. But I love that part. But it says you must remain in life union with me for I remain. His is certain. But Christ remains plugged into you, connected to you at all times. It is us who at times forget to be connected with him intimately. Now, when I'm connected with him intimately, what this does to me is that I begin to receive the fullness and the goodness of his love in my life. I begin to experience and understand how much he loves me every single day. Remember, every miracle that, that the Lord does in your life is stemmed or is born from your understanding of his love for you. Now, when I am in continuous communion with him and fellowship with him, when I am intimately, intimately joined with the Father, intimately joined with the Son, intimately joined, you know, and staying connected with him all through, what happens is that this love that God has for the, for the, for the Son pours into my life. When this love pours into my life, it creates an open heaven. When it creates an open heaven, nothing is impossible for me. I can be able to boldly say, I can do all things through Christ Jesus who strengthens me. My dear friends, I'm praying for you to have an open heaven today. But first of all, begin by this. Where you are right now, tell the Holy Spirit, tell the Holy Spirit, plug me into the Father. I want to be connected. I want to be intimately joined. I want to be intimately joined. But wherever I am, whatever I'm doing today, I want to be intimately joined. Because if I'm intimately joined to the Father, then I operate under an open heaven. And if I, if I operate under an open heaven, nothing is impossible. That disease has to go, that, you know, that curse has to fall, you know, um, that blessing has to come. Whatever it is that you're looking at in your life that you need reassurance, confidence, if you operate under, under an open heaven, it's very, very evident. An open heaven doesn't hide. An open heaven follows you wherever you go. An open heaven opens doors before you get there. An open heaven will turn the hearts of your enemies to your favor. An open heaven will put your, will put your burden in people's hearts. My people will move heaven and earth to be able to help you and to stand in the gap and to vouch for you. My dear friends, you must understand, but we have to stay intimately joined with him. Christ says you must be intimately joined. And I want us just to reflect on that statement. You must be intimately joined. So today my challenge for you is this. Tell the Holy Spirit, join me intimately with God. Join me intimately with my, with, with my Father. Join me in, intimately. May my heart and my thoughts be plugged into the, to the Father. May my desire be to be intimately joined with Him. There, my dear friends, an open heaven is triggered. And an open heaven is an open miracle. And that is your portion today in Jesus' name. Let us pray. 
King of Kings and Lord of Lords, I just want to bless your name this morning. I thank you, Father, for your son, your daughter watching this day, Lord. I know that, Father, you have a wonderful plan for everyone's life, Lord. And Lord, I ask the Holy Spirit to be able just to bring that, that desire to be intimately joined with you. To bring that desire to be intimately connected with you. But Father, you may be able to enjoy the goodness that comes from an open heaven. I declare that, Lord, let your son, your daughter walk under an open heaven today. May they experience the fruit of an open heaven. May they yield fruit because of the open heaven that is walking in their lives, Lord. I ask you, Father, to draw us even closer. Let every thought be a thought that is leaning towards you. Let every desire be a desire that leans towards you. I bless your holy name, Father, and I lift you. In Jesus' name, I pray in thanksgiving. Amen. Have a blessed day. Remember, an open heaven is your portion. See you next time. Same time. Have a blessed day.